Good, Good morning. morning. And welcome to our first morning prayer for the week. And today is a day that we celebrate the feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary was a young Jewish girl living in Nazareth when a messenger from the Lord announced that she was to be the bearer of the Son of God to the world. Her response, let it be me according to your word, revealed her natural sense of obedience to God and her reverence of his word, showing her worthy to be the bearer of the word of made flesh. This day is now celebrated as a major feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary throughout most of Christendom. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time, you made us in your image. And in these last days you have spoken to us, in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass. We flourish as a flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old, and endures forever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children. On those who keep his, command, his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and to the Son and to the, Son, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our first psalm for this morning is Psalm 98. The Lord, Lord has, has made, made known, known his, his salvation. salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. His deliverance has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sound praises to the Lord, all the earth. Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre with the lyre and the voice of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sound praises before the Lord the King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it, the world and all that dwell upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord has made known his salvation. Our second psalm is Psalm 138. Your loving, loving kindness, kindness, O Lord, Lord endures forever. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise to you. I will bow down towards your holy temple and praise your name because of your love and faithfulness 
for you have glorified your name and your world above all things. In that day that I called to you, you answered me. You put new strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, for they have heard the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the ways of the Lord, that great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, he watches over the lowly. As for the proud, he regards them from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will preserve me. You will stretch forth your hand against the fury of my enemies. Your right hand will save me. The Lord shall make good his purpose for me. Your loving kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, is now, now and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Your loving kindness, O Lord, endures forever. And our final psalm is Psalm 147. Great, Great is, is your Lord, Lord and mighty in power. Alleluia. How good it is to make music for our God. How joyful to honour him with praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up all their wounds. He counts the number of the stars and calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His wisdom is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the poor, but casts down the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the lyre. Who covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth. Who makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve our needs. He gives the beasts their food and the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the power of a horse, no delight in human strength. But the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. Glory, Glory to, to the Father, Father and, to and to the Son, and, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, it as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Great, Great is our Lord and mighty, mighty in power. David will read our first reading. Our reading is from Isaiah chapter 7, verses 10 to 15. Again the Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as Sheol, or as high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary? Mortals, that you are weary, my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child, and she bears a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. He shall eat curds and honey by the time he knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who believe, for what God has promised will be fulfilled. My heart exalts in the Lord. My strength is exalted in my God. My mouth derides my enemies, because I rejoice in your salvation. There is no one, no holy one like you, O Lord, nor any rock like you, O God. For you are a God of knowledge, and by your you our actions are weighted. The bows of the mighty have been broken, but the feeble gird on strength. Those who were full now hire themselves out for bread, but those who are hungry are well fed. The barren woman has borne sevenfold, but she has many children is not forlorn. Both the poor and the rich are full of your making. You bring low and you also exalt. You raise up the poor from the dust and lift the needy from the sheet of ash. You make them sit with the rules and inherit a place of honour. 
for the pillars of the earth are yours, and on them have you set the world. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed, Blessed are those who believe, for what God, God has promised will be fulfilled. fulfilled. Our second reading comes from Luke chapter 11, verses 27 and 28. While he was saying this, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that nursed you. But he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In the womb of Mary you found a dwelling place on earth, O Christ. Remain forever in our hearts. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. In the womb of Mary you found a dwelling place on earth, O Christ. Remain forever in our hearts. Let us pray. In the hushed anticipation of your coming, O Lord, kindle in us a desire to remain awake, that we might be ready for your coming and eager to pray. O God, in days to come, the mountain of your house will be established, and your joy shall reign. We pray for the church, especially our churches here in Colnebrook and Datchet, for all who minister and worship in them, that we might that you might teach us your ways and that we may walk in your paths. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and you, O God, shall judge between the nations. We pray for our nation and all nations, that your peace would be manifest in every corner of the earth. We especially pray today for the tensions in Afghanistan and all the people there, particularly our servicemen and women. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. In your kingdom, O Lord, wolves lie down with the lambs and children play with serpents without fear. We pray for the sick, the suffering and those in distress of any kind, that you would heal all injuries, comfort all grief and settle all wrongs. In a moment of quiet, we name to you those who we know who are suffering at this time and need your healing spirit. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. In your kingdom, O Lord, even the wilderness and dry land are glad and rejoice. We pray for all those who rejoice this week, that they might obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing might flee away. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. In the fullness of time, O God, you sent your son to be born of our sister Mary, that his name was Emmanuel, God with us. 
We thank you for your presence with us. And we pray that you might be always present with those whom we love but no longer see. We pray especially for those mourning the loss of loved ones at this time, preparing to say their final farewells and for all whose anniversary falls at this time. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Our collect for today. Almighty God, who looked upon the loneliness of the Blessed Virgin Mary and chose her to be the mother of your only son, grant that we, who are redeemed by his blood, may share with her in the glory of her, your eternal kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, our Father in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Before we conclude, we thank you for joining us. Hope you'll join us at five o'clock this evening for evening prayer. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.